and welcome to <coughs> another beer review. Um, now this beer I'm going to do, I was watching uh, the Clueless Drinker, check him out, fantastic reviewer, fantastic bloke as well, really nice bloke actually. Um, and he did this beer and I think that every other beer reviewer out there has done it. Um, and he said in his review that he keeps getting hold of it and keeps drinking it and everything and just keeps enjoying it and he knows that if, if he didn't if he didn't kind of like um, start talking about the beer it would just flow down his neck basically. And so this beer is a bit of a modern day classic because it seems like everybody and their mothers reviewed this on YouTube apart from me. In fact, I have never had this beer. Um, and it is most probably out of the modern or the modern kind of like um, beer culture, today's beer culture, it is a, a classic, a bit like their, a bit like, sorry, the, the Magic Rock Cannonball. But for me, that was a, a modern day classic. And I think this one is as well. So, as I said, I've been hiding in a cave or I've had my head up my own arse for the past two years or whatever and I've never had it. So... It's about time I've done it, because I find it hard to get hold of Beaver Town beers where I am. Um, I've got to travel quite far. There's, I know there's a craft beer shop in Yarm. Um, I've got to go down to York. Um, so where I'm situated, just on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales, it's not really a good area to go to your local craft beer shop, if you know what I mean. And I know for a fact there's one that's just opened in Kendall as well. So, I'm waffling on. Beaver Town Gamma Ray, boys and girls. Look at that. Great, great artwork, as always, on the can. As always, 5.4% ABV. Super smashing great. You know, it looks absolutely fantastic. I love the artwork on these cans. Um, I don't know who the guy who does it, because... Anyway, it's um, American Pale Ale. Um, it says it's in cast. It's on cask in Norway, and it's on cask in Finland. Um, it's on pasteurised natural beer, uh, brewed and canned at Beaver Town Brewery Unit 17, London, UK, and of course, um, Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin's son, I think, owns this brewer. So. It goes up in the world for me anyway. So let's crack her open. Like we do. Because I've got a feeling. It's going to be good. Because uh, I think no one's given a bad review of this. Oh that's lovely. It's, it's, it smells. Papaya fruit. Um, fruit cocktail. Mango. That kind of thing going on. Real kind of like a tropical feel. Tropical feel to this beer. Um, it doesn't say what hops are in this. Uh, Cascade, maybe. Yeah, most probably Cascade. Um, it's not giving us any information. They're going to keep their keep their recipe a real dark secret. So let's pop her in. So she's come out quite a cloudy gold. If I remember, oh, that's quite clear at the moment. I just kind of like. Give it a swell, get some, see if there's any sediment going in. The real orange glow to this beer, real orange glow. Um, it is quite cloudy. Um, lovely fluffy white head. She looks the real deal. She looks really nice. Again, retains that kind of like tropical fruit aroma. And you're getting a hint of resinous smell there little hop characters there but it's all in all it's, it's a beautiful tropical um, fruit aroma and she looks really nice so I'm, I'm eager to get in on this so cheers everybody That's really good. <laughs> I was hoping to be different. 
I was hoping to say, you know, I don't like this beer, you know, because everybody loves this beer. But I'll be completely lying. This beer is absolutely fantastic. That is great. Right, let's get some taste notes. First off, on the front end, you get a little sharp bite of bitterness. Converges into a nice um, resinous feel in the mouth. You're getting um, lovely tropical fruit notes. You're getting mango. You're getting papaya fruit. You're getting beautiful orange, um, nectarine even type of uh, flavour flavour notes as well, it is really nice and it feels smooth in the mouth and that gives it lots of drinkability, it gives so much drinkability to this beer, the smoothness on the palate, um, it really is nice, it's a, it's a cracking little beer this and I think it's their biggest selling, it must be Beaver Town's biggest selling, um, I've got a little friend Hey, see what you think about that. What do you reckon? Do you like that? Huh? Do you like it? No? I'll tell you what, you go there. Get out of the way. Move your ass out of the camera. Right. Course, just you know what? The clueless drink is right. This beer is just going down like a tree. It really is. Um it just enters your mouth, gives it loads of nice little flavour notes and that. And once you swallow it, it's not leaving anything on the back end. It's leaving a nice, nice, kind of like, it kind of oils the inside of your mouth as you drink it. It leaves a lovely kind of like uh, resin type of thing feel in your mouth after you've drunk it. This is a cracking beer, boys and girls. Um, and I apologise to everybody out there, a heartfelt apology to everybody out there for not reviewing this sooner. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cracking. Um, going for one more time, one more time for right. Look, I'm absolutely kind of mesmerised by the great artwork on this. Like a lot of Beaver Town, you know. It's 5.4, it doesn't feel 5.4, it feels a lot less. Um, it's got a lovely marmalade feel as well. Nice golden shred feel. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm waffling on, eight minutes in. Boys and girls, absolute pleasure this one. Beaver Town Gamma Ray, Gamma Ray, Gamma Ray, Gamma Ray. That is a cracking beer, that. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, highly recommend that. Um, Get hold of it. It'll be available anywhere. They should be available everywhere, that, because that is brilliant. Thanks for watching this review. Please check out the Clueless Drinker. He's cracking. And on that note, see you boys and girls soon on my next one. So cheers.